How has funding from the Bering Foundation helped you? Well, in a practical way, it led to the creation of a post, my post, for being a cultural offer manager that drew this work together and kind of gave it a bit of a focus. In another way, I have to say that the Bearing Foundation, it's beyond funding. They've shown a real support and commitment to the sector of arts and older people. Not least prior to releasing the funding, they undertook um, a national research into arts and older people. They published a report, Aging Artfully, and that gave a fantastic picture of what was being done across the country. I think it also touched on Ireland and some European projects to currently they're undertaking more research into arts and older people projects in the UK. That report is going to be launched at a national learning event and this is something that's quite refreshing about the Bearing Foundation, the way that they're very keen on sharing learning. When we received the funding we were brought together with other grant recipients so that we were all able to meet each other and get a sense of what we were doing and since then we've been able to follow up some of that activity and engagement. The national learning event that will take place this October, we think that might be the first of its kind actually. The report that the Bearing have commissioned will be launched there and again it's going to be a unique opportunity for these separate worlds to meet. That will be people involved in research into ageing, artists, um, all sorts of um, producers, creative producers from across the country that are now interested in working with older people and obviously healthcare professionals and housing service providers too.